Hey guys, my name is Fire, and today I have some gameplay using the MP40. This is a weapon that you unlock after prestiging the Airborne Division, and there's specific prestige or division prestige weapons, where if you prestige a certain division, you get a certain division weapon. And for the Airborne Division, or for the SMGs, you just happen to get the MP40. So there's not a lot of gameplay, uh, personally, I've seen on YouTube about this weapon, so I decided to make a video about it here, kind of talk about the weapon a bit, and just talk about some other things regarding Call of Duty World War II. So the first thing I want to talk about here is the MP40. The MP40 is an SMG obviously, but it's quite fun to use. Honestly, I think a lot of the SMGs are quite fun to use in this game. I'm a big SMG player and a lot of them are quite balanced at the same time. I was actually using the WAF or as I like to call it, the Waffle, whatever it's called. Um, I was actually using it quite a bit and that weapon just melts. It absolutely shreds through people, but it does have a good bit of recoil. It kind of balance it out. There's not really an SMG or a specific weapon in this game that really stands out and is really overpowered. The MP40 definitely isn't that weapon. It's good, I wouldn't say it's the best SMG in the game, but it's a fun SMG, it's a unique SMG. The iron sights are very, very funny in my opinion. They're very like small and kind of hard to use in my opinion. You have a lot of stuff, you can see a lot of stuff what's going on, on your screen because they're so small, but I find it hard to kind of like pinpoint your enemy because it kind of just feels weird looking through a tiny iron sight. But yeah, overall, the weapon's a lot of fun. I don't think it's overpowered. I think it's actually one of the most underpowered SMGs in the game. I think it's definitely on the weaker side. Uh, but I don't think it really needs a buff either. A lot of the SMGs and a lot of the weapons in this game are fairly balanced. And that's kind of surprising coming from Advanced Warfare and the shit fur that we saw with that game. So overall, is the weapon worth it? To me, yeah. If you're a fan of SMGs like I am, you're probably going to enjoy the weapon, but if you're looking for an overpowered weapon or a really, really good weapon that's good at a lot of things, like a more balanced weapon, I wouldn't say this would be the best weapon. I think it's a good standard run-the-mill weapon. I don't think it's overpowered. I don't think it's underpowered. I think it's in a nice spot and it's quite fun to use. Okay, now the other thing I kind of wanted to mention here at the end of the video is I kind of just want to talk about the YouTubers and a lot of people getting to like Prestige 1 and Prestige 2. It's kind of crazy to me right now that a lot of people have already gotten like diamond weapons and different things like that. So many people are grinding out this game at the moment which is a very good sign the servers seem to be running a lot better at the moment because there's a lot of people playing the game we haven't seen this much people and this much rush of players playing Call of Duty game in a long time but Call of Duty is a multi-million dollar franchise and they generally have a lot of people playing their games anyway but with this game, it just seems different. A lot of people are seeming to enjoy World War II at the moment. Now, there was actually another leak that uh, has appeared to come out in the game code. Some people actually found some weapons and that's kind of scary because a lot of people are assuming that they are going to be in supply drops and personally myself I do think they will be in supply drops but maybe there's that little luck of hope where these weapons were just left behind and they were kind of scrapped or something which we have seen in the past before or from like an older game or I don't actually think they are from an older game but they have we have seen weapons in the game code and get scrapped eventually and never make it to a game so that could be a possibility or they could even add it in as like a challenge or a season pass owners get Get the weapons for free like infinite warfare police sledgehammer do something like that make it fair make it balanced don't put them behind supply drops and don't make a bullshit anyway guys that's pretty much all i had to talk about hopefully you guys did enjoy and yeah i'll see you guys next one peace out